This is Twit. Did you see the guy who used uh, who made a California license plate called <laughs> Null? Null? His license plate yes. was Null? Yes, I did see that. So bad. Which is a gr I mean, that's great. He thought, <laughs> foolishly, Joseph Totaro, he thought, that it, uh, he was a security researcher. He wanted to, he wanted seg fault. No, not available. Uh, he started typing null pointer, <laughs> but it's caught himself after he typed the first word and said, you know, it'd be funny if I could get null or maybe void for my wife so that our cars would be null and void. <laughs> kind of a mistake. He explained this at uh, DEF CON last week. Null is a text string that in many programming languages, as you know, signifies a value that's empty or undefined. Could be the... False mm -hmm. is null, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Uh, he was facing twelve thousand forty nine dollars of wrong traffic fines sent his way because the null plate didn't get him out of tickets; it got him into tickets. <laughs> it it broke the DMV website. By the way, you can no longer get null. <laughs> uh, it's invalid. Dozens of citations deposited in bulk into his mailbox, parking violations, stand stop violations, Fresno to Rancho Cucamonga. He says, I've never been to Fresno. <laughs> he hasn't this gone on a statewide parking related crime spree. It this turns out he. Go ahead. If you wanted to commit a crime spree, like what oh, if yeah. I just wanted to commit crime? I put null on there and I go commit all these crimes and then come back, sit home like I didn't do anything wrong. Like look at all the other glitches. He can so park anywhere he wants. After a little investigation, yeah. oh my it turns God, that out great. if the ticketing officer forgot to write a license plate number on the ticket, mm -hmm. guess what the license plate number was? <laughs> no. No. Wow. Little Bobby no. tables. He's getting every ticket in California Without a nut license number. <laughs> that is amazing. But he also got stuck because at the end of the article it said he, he wants to change it, but he can't change it. Because they won't accept the... <laughs> because, well, no, he... he but he, he Little, got most little of Johnny off. Tables strikes little, again. Little Bobby Tables, Little yeah. Bobby Tables strikes again. <laughs> um, so he... Wow. He, he, it, he caught a tiger by the tail with no... <laughs> Yeah. In related That's, news, the 22-year-old fashion blogger alter ego of mine wants you to know that designer Kate Rose yes. presented an adversarial fashion line at DEF CON mm. uh, that uh, is clothing made to confuse license plate readers. And mm. it's pictures of license plates all over your yeah. T-shirts. Yeah. Oh. And one of them, the text of the license plate in one of them is actually the text of the Fourth Amendment. Nice. It's not the most attractive outerwear I've ever seen but <laughs> you have to uh, fight for liberty you gotta Come fight on. for liberty <laughs> you know i could see hackers all over the country wearing this it's <laughs> the company by the way is now called adversarial fashion mm -hmm. i like it she's a both a fashion designer and a digital security professional that's like, you don't hear that a lot. Yes. <laughs> she's only got one Instagram post. If she's going to go hard in on fashion, she needs to up the ante mm -hmm. on the volume there. Yeah. But mm -hmm. here's, uh, uh, here's proof. Great idea. Kate Rose uh, published this, I guess, uh, somebody wearing her T-shirt <laughs> and then getting the identification. <laughs> and uh, it actually identified it. Uh, you can see it's very confused. It's circling a bunch of license plates. It came up with three different license plates. Okay. And it decided that this guy is an SUV crossover, which is really insulting. <laughs> <laughs> so if so, then you should just wear shirts that have people's like pictures of people's faces, because okay, so the 2018 Marine Corps Marathon T-shirt, I, I I ran that marathon, and the whole front of that T-shirt is nothing but people's faces oh, at the beginning of the race, and so you could match that know. just as well. And then, yeah, it would it would throw them off. This is the most horrifying of all these stories. <laughs> it turns out, you know what juggalos are? Of course. You look like an insane clown posse fan, oh doctor. Do you <laughs> juggalos? I used to be. Yeah. Uh -huh. So people who are fans of the insane clown posse often put clown makeup on uh -huh. to show their fandom. They call it juggalo makeup. Mm -hmm. And apparently, it also. <laughs> <works. Huh? laughs> works so i would be really disappointing if people started walking around with juggalo makeup that would be you know in, in world war ii v for vendetta yeah oh, in yeah. world well, war ii they painted the ships to be you know very oh yeah hard. that weird zebra kind of yeah. yeah so juggalos you, warships yeah. you, 
the the way makeup is nowadays anyway there's people out there making themselves up with makeup to look like jay-z and they're white like the shading of makeup and stuff people are transforming their faces women have been transforming their faces for decades um, so i mean there's ways to get around all this stuff out here in these streets with just some uh maybe it's maybelline you know what i mean you don't have to go that far here is change uh, up how you look from the defcon presentation a sample slide <laughs> of the face recognition <laughs> Failing, although I figure those tattoo those tattoos are probably pretty distinctive. <laughs> also, I'm going to take a few points off because the editor this guy's using to show his code is Nano. Okay, mm. I'm sorry, dude. Come on, really, Nano? Got to use VI. Got Emacs. You're baby. not. You're Emacs. Of course, no, I'm Emacs. What? The only one true. Yo. I already told you I love Lisp. Oh. Why wouldn't I use? The only editor you can reprogram as it's running in Lisp. I had no idea. <laughs> wow. I just assumed you were in the VI club. VI is kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, I know VI you're very kind. You're very kind. It's a little okay. too modal for me. <laughs> I don't like the modal stuff. Ouch. Ouch. Escape. It burns. Colon, it burns. Q. <laughs> Come on.